In 2016, Island was officially started, but it started a lot before, uh, way before that. So Sean's brother-in-law uh, was a uh, made wine at home. 2005, he joined them, and then in 06, he dragged me in with a couple of other people. We made wine for 10 years. I commuted up for five of those, and decided to to make a go of the commercial operation. So our day jobs <laughs> in tech, we build things you can't see. The attraction to me of using our hands and our brains and our creative spirit to bring science and art together in something that's tangible, that you can drink, that requires patience, that requires nuance and finesse, that's sort of what brings me to it. It gives me the passion around it. The Awen name. It's just the embodiment of creative spirit and creative spirit for us involves collaboration, right? That's why we like playing music with other people. Right? making wine with other people. You get more energy when you combine creative souls together. That's what the ah one is. If we like the wine, then we hope somebody else does. That's sort of the theory. Besides balance, I think we're always looking for interesting secondary flavors, right, to the wine. We like bright acids. We like deep, concentrated flavors. We absolutely let those grapes get super ripe. We almost never harvest this vineyard until late October. The, the coolest thing about the Oregon wine experience, there's a real sort of camaraderie there. You get to meet new winemakers we've not met before, try different wines. Um, but for me, the favorite part is the dance party. That is, uh, that is a lot of fun. It's likely one of the top 10 wine competitions in the United States. So I like to make great wine and slap a medal on it and feel proud of that, especially when it's judged over by a serious panel of judges. This year for the Founders Barrel Auction, we're gonna put in our 2022 Grenache Blanc. We've fallen in love with that grape. There's not a lot of it uh, in the whole state at all. And we find this area conducive to producing a white wine in our style and that wine exemplifies it. It's got these nice floral components to it. You still get all of the apple and pear and peach and the really big mouth feel. You can drink it super cold. You can drink it at room temperature. Anywhere in between, it tastes like different wines. It really is the hallmark for me of why I fell in love with white wines in Southern Oregon. Last year, there were not a ton of white wines and it was hot in that tent. So we decided we'll bring back some white wines and we'll bring back our national. At the end of the day, um, we all have kids, uh, and I think we could always empathize um, with the families and the kids that are going through what they're going through. And so Asante helping them through that process is uh, God's work in my opinion. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather, I'm very close with all of my family, and if anybody was in need um, and didn't have a support system, it would break my heart. And this business affords us the ability to touch a lot of influential people in our area. And we should do that because we have access. <laughs>